you hold my hand, look me in the eyes. You and me, yeah, that's all I need, and I'll be alright. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here with you. Cookies already, huh? Mama, 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 mama. He no. point. I, I had to call. Well, actually, I didn't call. I had a message this morning. First thing this morning, waking up, I had to message the ortho because Jace last night slipped out of this. He had it on for three days. Um, uh, like yesterday and stuff, I kept noticing his thumb would slip into this hole, so like I knew it was wiggling around. And I'm like, obviously this is why they gave us this kind of cast, because they wiggle around. And then last night, he woke me up at like four in the morning, and I noticed it was past his elbow and it slipped off past his elbow and it wasn't gonna go back on and I tried to get him to go back to sleep and I'd figure it out in the morning but it kept wiggling and whining and it just came right off so I messaged them and told them that and they asked if I wanted to come in today um, so I guess we're gonna see if they decide that 
there's a point in putting another cast back on because he was supposed to wear that cast for another week. So we gotta leave here in about ten minutes. Ten minutes. You don't need a cookie right now. Are you gonna come cut your chain? I still have hives all on my arm. I noticed last night Jace had like some hives under his cast. The girls both spiked a fever yesterday and were throwing up. So it's real fun over here. I thought that, you know, I didn't have a bunch of stuff to do. We could have some nice days at home. I thought that since I didn't have a bunch of stuff going on, we could just have some nice relaxing days at home. But of course not. Always gotta be something going on. Ashlyn, you when I be rocky you don't always have to be pink. Cut. See what I mean? It's literally just the tip. I'm, it's just the tip of his finger. This is clapping. What and he's sticking his tongue out. They had it wrapped in basically just like special <laughs> tape. What? Like a, I don't really know what kind of tape you would call it, but kind of. Just doctor tape. They tried to cover it with some type of gauze and then wrap it up in tape. Cause the cast seems like overkill at this point, but he still needs a little something because you know, he's already trying to put it in his mouth. So she had it wrapped in some basic thing and he literally sat here and picked it all off. <laughs> so we're having to put a new cast on. Let's do it again. I'm just gonna try to go up. There's my chin again. I'm go all the way up over the shoulder this time. I think I'll keep it up higher. There we go. Pull right here. It could be a little magician zine. You can have it just about anything. I'm gonna try to put some cotton between my fingers again. I don't know how well it's gonna go. It looks like it looks better than it did last time, so that's a plus. Yeah. Yeah. He's also Mom, like it moving it a lot more. I did. Yeah. Why is it sitting? Mom, let me put it over there. Yeah, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's a good attempt, though. Uh, oh, uh, 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 Ashley, what? Which color are these ones that you're favorite? Well... Purple, blue. No, you can only choose one. And I like. You can choose two, but. You okay? I want, and I like the dark one. No, choose two. I want this one. Yeah, it looks like it's doing much better this time. It's only been a couple days, right? I want this one, this one. He was a lot wiggle, more wiggly no, this time. Push me. No. <laughs> all right so i don't remember what so we came in i explained that he got the cast off i explained that he got the cast off and she looked at it and like thought that it looked good enough that another a whole nother cast might not be necessary so we tried to do like she put a piece of something over to cover it so that it didn't get stuck to it 
and then wrapped it up in that this tape it's a whatever medical tape that sticks to itself I don't remember what it's called but she wrapped that all around the finger and all around his hand down his like up to his wrist and as she's sitting there talking to me about it saying how you know just how to rewrap it and what to do and you know asking me questions and stuff the whole time he's sitting there picking at it and she's trying to put it in his mouth and stuff so she's like no oh, this might not work and she's asking like if he would keep a band-aid on and like this and that and like trying to think of a solution other than putting on a whole other cast but um I saw body yeah as we're talking he basically gets the whole thing off and she's like well that's not gonna work so we're probably gonna have to put a whole nother cast on it because um you know the main thing is we don't want him like rubbing it up on something and risking like pulling the scab off or like getting it all covered in dirt and in dust and like food and stuff like you don't want a bunch of dirty stuff getting onto it so in the end like he was technically supposed to wear the cast for another week and so in the end we were like I guess let's just put another cast on it and um even if he only gets another three days out of this one it should look a lot better by then to where you know he might be ready for just a band-aid or something and last time when he got the cast on, and like basically ever since he hurt his hand, he didn't want to didn't want to mess with it. He kind of like ignored it. He avoided using it. Um, he acted as if like it didn't exist, basically. And whenever he was getting the cast on last time, he sat there no problem and was just fine. And the dude was like, like this is like the best patient I've ever put a cast on, especially as a not even one and a half year old. But then today. I guess after he got that cast off and realized how much better his finger felt and like got his hand back and I don't know like just realized that his finger is getting better and like he can use that hand he was wiggling it all around and like trying to put his finger in his mouth and you know just being crazy with it and so and the whole time that uh, the dude was trying to wrap it and put the cast on, he was moving around and like started throwing a fit. And it was definitely way harder to get it on this time than it was last time. So obviously he's like, he's feeling better. His fingers feel better. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. My name is Marie. What can I get started for you? Could I do a grande iced coffee with um, 10 pumps of vanilla, keep the classic, add heavy cream and vanilla sweet cream cold foam? Heavy cream and vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Just so you know, the new iced coffee recipe does not come with classic, um, so you just gotta let them know that you do want classic. Okay. Um, um, and then what else? That'll be it. Already, granite ice coffee, 10 points of vanilla, classic, heavy cream, and vanilla cream and cold foam. That is five for me. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. Oh, that's so good. I didn't have time to make coffee this morning. And honestly, I've been debating switching back to iced coffee, especially because it's getting hot. It's summertime now. But, um, it's just so much more sugar and calories in my iced coffee than there is in my hot coffee. And I mean, me switching to my hot coffee never made a difference. And me trying to lose weight, but I also didn't, like make any changes in any other aspect so like I don't know yes I did I don't know if there's a point in me like dealing with hot coffee that I don't enjoy as much <clears throat> I want to start a health journey journal 
I'm sorry, my lord. I'm not spoon feeding you your yogurt fast enough. I'm trying to get serious about losing weight. I know I've had this talk so many times, and I'm not even gonna get too much into it. But <clears throat> I'm gonna try to get more serious about it. And hopefully, me setting up a reward system this time will encourage me. have a package. Why? London has a package. It's a package for London? That yes. What is it? It says our address. Uh, I don't know what's even in it. Well, it's not yours, it's London's. It's um, a lanyard. You can hang stuff on it. Oh look, you got a pin. It says up, up, and away to first grade. SCCA kindergarten graduate. ABC. You got your certificates. A up, up, and away. Baby. London Decker, congratulations, graduate, on a successful kindergarten year. Up and away. And this is your letter learner certificate of achievement. This has been Jay's every evening lately. I'm packing up London's laptop to send it back. Did you just school? Now that the year's over and we do not intend to return next year, we have to send You know, like workbooks and there's like blogs and um, I just gotta print the label. The damn label kept printing out all, it kept printing out tiny. The TV. 
Just one of many pet peeves about YouTube for me. All the day doorbell sounds in every mo in every show. Every little show that they watch has freaking doorbell sounds. And the dogs go crazy every night. Give me love, give me all your love, give me all your love.